The House voted. There will be a select committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the Capitol. And as the vote took place, a group of Republicans, well, they ducked out on it. They went to meet former President Donald Trump in Texas along the border. That's some nerve. A new select committee controlled by Democrats was created after the bipartisan commission failed to move forward. Our D.C. correspondent Bofta Imam joins us live. And Bofta, Wednesday's vote, of course, as expected, mostly across party lines. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's exactly what happened here. Only two House Republicans voted in favor of the committee, Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. And it was no surprise being that those two also voted in favor of impeaching former President Donald Trump for instigating the riot. If you'll remember that, they spoke out. They've been vocal about it. We know Liz Cheney also lost her leadership post recently within the GOP for doing exactly that, being vocal. Democrats, though, who wanted this committee to happen say it's important to identify the the root causes of the attack, plus security failures and Trump's role. But Republicans say reports on the attack have been provided. So a committee is unnecessary, they say. Now, a Senate report released several weeks ago did reveal massive intelligence failures and security breakdowns. Yet the congressional reports did not examine Trump's role in the attack. The new select committee will likely spotlight Trump, maybe also his social media activity, as well as conversations with GOP colleagues leading up to the riot. Since Trump still has a grip on GOP voters and fundraising ahead of the midterm elections, most of his party would rather move on. But Democrats are determined to proceed. We can see what took place. Now we've got to understand as much as we can about why it took place, who engineered it, what it was they were trying to accomplish, and what it seems to me that they were trying to reduce our democratic way of thinking, our democratic way. And when I say democratic, I don't mean political party. I did not vote for it just now because I don't have any confidence in it being a bipartisan approach. I'd like to see a commission. I think it's, uh, I think there's a lot of unanswered questions and I wish we could get the answers. No word on how soon this committee will get to work, but we do know there's no set di uh, deadline, excuse me, for when they will wrap up. So this could spill into the 2022 midterm elections, which is exactly what many Republicans do not want. Sharon. Well, now, both did, I want to talk about Nancy Pelosi because, uh, you know, she's been at it a long time and she didn't get to where she is for nothing. Um, the committee is going to have 13 members. Um, she's indicated that she's considering appointing several Republicans or at least one Republican. Talk about the power structure of that committee as well. Right. Such a good question, Sharon, because we've been talking so much about this actually moving forward. Now, what does that look like? So we have potentially those 13 members who will be part of this committee. Five of them, she said, she will be consulting with minority leader Kevin McCarthy before moving forward on those five. And she'll take some suggestions there, potentially. The eight will be appointed by herself. She also will be able to override uh, Kevin McCarthy's selections if he does choose to go that route. Some names that have been, you know, tossed around as potentials inside of this committee. Liz Cheney, who I just talked about a moment ago, also possibly Benny Thompson. And as far as what power they have, the chairman of the committee will be able to subpoena witnesses and documents as they move forward. So we will be seeing testimonies as we saw in previous committees that have been in Congress related to these big topics that folks want to investigate more of. Even Benghazi, of course, comes to mind, Sharon. Yeah, some people aren't going to like that subpoena power, Bofta, but uh, I know you'll stay on it. Keep us posted. Bofta, you, Mom, on Capitol Hill. Thanks so much, Bofta.